What's new with the G20 summit taking place in New Delhi? In September 2023, the G20 leaders came together to launch something called the Global Biofuel Alliance, also called the GBA. This is a collaboration among more than 30 countries. The goal is to promote the adoption of biofuels and unlock the potential of bioenergy in emerging economies. The mission of the GBA is advancing sustainable biofuels globally. Strategies include capacity building along the entire biofuel value chain, offering technical support for national biofuel programs and sharing policy insights. The alliance aims at creating a virtual marketplace to match supply and demand and connect tech providers with end users. There's also a goal to develop, adopt and implement internationally recognized standards, codes and sustainability principles to incentivize biofuel adoption and trade. Now what are biofuels? Biofuels are renewable fuels made from plants and organic materials. They are considered to be cleaner alternatives to traditional fossil fuels and are said to help reduce greenhouse gas emissions and promote sustainability. Examples include bioethanol, biodiesel and biogas. The GPS membership is set to comprise 19 countries and 12 international organizations with both G20 member countries and non-members participating. G20 supporters include India, the US, Argentina, Brazil, Canada, Italy and South Africa. G20 invitee countries that back the alliance include Bangladesh, Singapore, Mauritius and the UAE. Countries that are not G20 countries and that have joined the GBA include Iceland, Kenya, Paraguay, Sri Lanka, Uganda and more. These countries are set to constitute major producers and consumers of biofuels. India, the US and Brazil are set to contribute about 85% of ethanol production and 81% of consumption. This may be befitting the month of September, which has days like the International Day of Clean Air or Blue Skies, International Day for the Preservation of the Ozone Layer and World Environmental Health Day. Indian PM Narendra Modi has hailed the GBA as a watershed moment in the pursuit of sustainability and clean energy. There was also said to be an acknowledgement of the importance of sustainable biofuels for reducing emissions. This could reflect India's commitment to addressing pressing global challenges, particularly in the realm of energy and environment. What could the GBA mean for the G20? This could strengthen India's global standing and foster collaboration. It could open doors for industries in India to export tech and equipment. The alliance also seems to be aligned with India's goal of being carbon neutral by 2017. Some feel that this could also underscore the potential for rural economic development, environmental improvement, reduced greenhouse gas emissions and energy dependence. But is there a downside to biofuels? It may be that biofuel production could lead to deforestation because forests and natural lands may be converted into farmland for making biofuels. This could harm biodiversity and increase greenhouse gas emissions. Producing biofuels could also be resource intensive and could require large amounts of water, energy and more. And the use of agricultural land for biofuel crops could compete with food production. So this may lead to higher food prices and food security issues. The global biofuel market was valued at around $117 billion as of 2022. So how could the GBA be a catalyst for India's transition to alternative fuels? How can the world confront the challenges of climate change and energy security? Can there be a commitment to sustainable biofuels, circular economies and international cooperation? Will the GBA help India have a cleaner and greener future?